It's Graham Dargy here with another Teachable Moment. Today we're going to look at Photo Merge in Lightroom Classic. Photo Merge is something that will allow you to put together panoramic or HDR images in Lightroom. So I know there's other softwares around that can allow you to do that. For me, I've never had a problem doing it in Lightroom. So um, let's dive in and let's see if we can put together an HDR using uh, these three frames here. Now, if I can go to develop here, just going to show you these pictures. This is a location in the Isle of Skye on the west coast of Scotland called the Old Man of Store. Great place to visit and this particular morning it was really really um, cold, windy, dull kind of weather but you can see the sunrise just broke through here was just breaking through as we were doing this and really lit up the scene um, but as often you find um, the, ca the camera sometimes just doesn't capture what you're seeing so it's necessary to shoot a sequence of frames at different exposures and put them together as an HDR just to give you something that better to work with um, so I'm not into that HDR type of imagery that, that comes to mind when you say HDR but sometimes you just need to do it to give yourself a better canvas to work with so here are my three frames of the same scene and overexposed for the kind of shadowy area so simply um, if you select the three files from down here, you've got this one selected, I'm going to click command and click this one and hold command and click this one or if you just click the first one and the last one and press shift when you do that it'll select all three together. The easiest way for me is to right click oops, right click on the photo on the selection there and then you can just find photo merge in this pop up or drop down menu here. We're going to go for HDR here keyboard shortcut is control H um, and then this window comes up and it's going to just put together a preview for us I would click auto align and I just click the auto settings it just gets you started with the development and gives you again a good starter place you don't have to do that if you don't want to but for me it just gives me a starter point and you can easily take off the auto later um, deghost amount what is deghosting if your camera has moved or if maybe the scene has changed um, slightly while you've taken your sequence of images um, maybe your hand holding the camera and your hands have just wobbled a little bit or maybe there's something moving through the picture like water um, Lightroom will deghost that it will help to line things up um, in the places that it thinks it should be so I've just put on a low amount for deghost okay so Lightroom has put together this preview now you can zoom in to have a look at it it's going to be fine um, on this one because everything was lined up well being that it was using a tripod so because um, I've got the auto settings here clicked it's already had a made a start at processing the image and you can see the kind of range that we've got to work with so I'm just going to click merge here and it's going to take a minute just to put that together up here so I'm going to come back when that's done Okay, so Lightroom has created the HDR file now. You can see it down here on the film strip uh, and it's its own file with its own HDR name which makes it easier to find. Uh, it's already applied the auto settings, the auto tone settings on here which again gives you a good starter point. You can go out processing the image from here. What you m will notice if you go to the exposure slider usually um, you have a four stops plus or minus range with moving this around. With the HDR file you now have up to ten stops either way. So it gives you a much expanded range to work with. Um, I'll just put that back to what it gave me. There you go. And anyway from here you can go ahead and process it like you would any other image and so that is how you can quickly create an HDR file using Lightroom Classic. Um, we're going to do the uh, f the panel in another video but I hope you enjoyed that. hope you got something out of that as well. Um, questions, comments, leave them below and don't forget you can uh, go to my website grimdargy.com to uh, sign up for my newsletter and get my free ebook that's three steps to better photographs at grahamdargy.com. Enjoy your photography. I will see you with another teachable moment.